Hey, what's up, guys? Hardleg Joe here with the profile for my Ojama ABC deck. For our monster lineup, we have two each of Ojama Puke, Piss, and Bile, one each of A, B, and C, one Confused Little Dragon, three of Ojama Blood, and three of Ojama Blued. For spells, we have three Terrifying Operations, one Miracle, three Oja Magic, Two Terraforming, two Called by the Grave, three copies of the new Rocky movie, Twin Twin Twisters, and three copies of Trump's America. Yeah, that's right, I'm making a political joke in a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. Come at me, scrubs, I'm ripped. Anyway, for traps, we have three packets of Sweet and Sour, and three Ojama Pajama. Our extra deck consists of two Alphabet Dragon, one Shooty Bird, one Ronin Raccoon, one Boral Lad, one Boral Sad, Graceful Charity on Crack, Decode Taco, a Unicorn, His Majesty Emperor Ojama Purple of House Ojama, the first of his name, Lord of the Lard, King of the Level 2 Beasts, Slayer of the Lime, and Unmoving Mass, who is rightful heir to Ojama Country and all the lands east of Gear Town. Nightmares Phoenix and Cerberus, Security Dragon, some weird top thingy, and a spider. The side deck I'll go over in a little bit. So, this is Ojama's. It, uh, it does things. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll try. So, your win condition is to swarm the field, make a whole bunch of Link monsters, and then top it off with ABC Buster Dragon. The swarming can be done in a lot of ways, but the best and fastest way is Ojama Red. When this angry fucker is normal summoned, you can special summon up to four Ojamas from your hand in attack position. How do you get the other four Ojamas to your hand? Well, mostly through Ojamagic. If this card is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard, you can add one each of the original three Stooges from your deck to your hand. Uh, we have a ton of ways to discard this thing, including, but not limited to, Ojama Country. This is a field spell with two effects. First, while you control an Ojama, the attack and defense of all monsters on the fields is switched, which can occasionally be useful. Secondly, and more importantly, once per turn you can discard an Ojama card to special summon an Ojama monster from the graveyard, which will let you swarm even more while putting Oja Magic into the graveyard. You can also use this thing to discard Ojama Duo, a trap that is pretty much useless on the field, but in the graveyard, you can banish it during either player's turn to summon two Ojamas with different names from the deck, which is even more swarming. Uh, but I digress. Let's assume you've already used these to swarm a whole bunch of shit. Now what? Well, you make a whole bunch of links. Which links should you make? That's your call. Uh, I got a toolbox of a whole bunch of shit, but really you can run whatever you want. None of these in particular is all that important. The important thing is that you somehow get your hands on Ojama Simulation. This thing lets you banish three Ojamas from your hand, field, or graveyard, and summon A, B, and C from the hand, deck, or graveyard. Then, you can shuffle those Ojamas you banished back into the deck and draw a card. Now that's not the exact effect, but that's essentially what it does. I'm not reading all that text. I mean, just just look at it. The picture alone gives me nightmares. Uh, anyway, once you get the three alphabet pieces, then you can use them for even more Link Summons. Or if you're feeling nostalgic, maybe an Ixie Summon, but mostly Link Summons. Then, once you have these three in the graveyard, you can banish them to summon ABC Buster Dragon, who is one hell of a boss monster, I tell you what. He can discard during each player's turn to banish something from the field, and during your opponent's turn, he can tribute himself to summon A, B, and C back onto the field, which you can then use to make another Link and another Buster Dragon once your turn rolls back around. If you can get to the point where you control this guy along with two or three Link monsters, you've pretty much won. So you may be thinking to yourself, alright, this seems decent, but how do I get my hands on Ojama Similatron or whatever it's called? Well, there are two ways, and neither of them is all that great. First, Ojama Blue. If he's destroyed by battle, you can add any two Ojama cards from your deck to your hand. Second, Ojama Pajama. This is a continuous trap that lets you once per turn, during the main phase only, 
add an Ojama card from your deck to your hand, and then discard a card. Both of these are pretty great in theory. Blue, I think, is the only monster in the game that lets you search two cards, and Pajama is like searching and graveyard setup at the same time. The problem is they are both very, very slow. One is an unsearchable trap that you've got to set and then activate on your opponent's turn, and the other one, at the very least, will cost you a battle phase and some life points, assuming you're going to normal summon it and then ram this zero-point bastard into your opponent's monster. This is the deck's greatest weakness. If you can get one of these two and survive a turn, then you can make some pretty powerful boards that even meta decks will have trouble with. But getting to that point is not easy, this deck has a lot of bricks, and if your opponent has any disruptions, you're pretty much just fucked. So that's the main gist of the deck, but we do have a couple more cards in here, so let's just go over them real quick. Oja Match is a quick play spell that lets you discard an Ojama card to add one Ojama monster and one armed dragon from your deck and or graveyard to your hand. Then, you can normal summon one of the monsters you searched, in addition to your regular normal summon. This is not a key card, and sometimes it can brick if you draw it alongside your one of armed dragon, but it lets you discard Oja Magic to search Ojama Red or Blue, which is like half of your combo. Everything else in here is just kind of a generic tech card. Two terraformings to search your Ojama countries, two called by the grave to hit hand traps, and two twin twisters to hit spell traps. We're playing both of these at two because we're on YGO Pro where the decks are random and chaos reigns, but we have a third copy of each in the side deck, so if you go up against Burning Abyss, you could put in your third Called by the Grave, and if you're playing against Dark Magician or something, you can put in your third Twin Twisters. Speaking of the side deck, our only other major side deck card here is Creature Swap, which can actually be pretty powerful against decks that don't swarm much, like Sky Striker. You could take their link, give them an Ojama Blue, and not only will you be able to make them take the damage to get Ojama Blue search, but you can also turn off their spell traps at the same time, since that's how Sky Strikers work. The rest of the stuff is pretty much just here for stall decks, which seem to have grown in popularity with the advent of Mystic Mine. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, we got an extra copy of our Ojamas, another copy of all the ABC pieces, and another ABC Buster Dragon, which will all let you grind for longer as well as Pot of Acquisitiveness, which can let you shuffle your banished cards back in to use them again. And that's pretty much the deck. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you'd like to see ABC Ojama in action, you can check out the main video. There I'll be playing 10 random duels against opponents on YGO Pro, showing off some of the combos in action. Or if you're short on time, just check out the replay video. I do a bunch of real quick, fast duels set to music, both should be on the end card and link down in the description. Anyway, until next time, good luck and have fun.